post lockdown i am scared someone's going to shout at me and say can you not see where you're going i am nervous of the two meter distance rule i am nervous i cannot judge distance i am nervous that i might be breaking rule the world through my eyes through my lens is different to the world of a normally sighted person. I don't have full 3D view. I have patches of vision. I'm looking through that pinhole here and there to try and make sense of it. From the age of 14, Usha has had 14 eye operations. Her sight is very limited. Judging distance, I've always get, get, get it wrong, you know. I, I can't tell if it's two meter or one meter or if I've run over the person. I don't see signs straight away. It also depends on the size of the actual markings. It depends if it's in my visual field. As a lecturer at London South Bank University, Usha plans her journeys to work in advance, but now she fears navigating around new restrictions. I do generally bump into people and I think social distancing would be very difficult for someone like me. I don't have full vision, I have patches of vision and I heavily depend upon that to navigate myself from one place to another. This is the Baker Loon Line train to Elephant and Castle. Forward then. A recent survey of visually impaired people found that more than 50% were not confident navigating new layouts. David Clark from the Royal National Institute of Blind People has been working to make businesses more accessible. It's been a long, hard, difficult year uh, for many people and so of course there's a certain enthusiasm and excitement uh, to get back to a, a more normal life. But I think there's a massive opportunity here for the wider society, for business, for service providers to recognise that everybody needs to be included in the opening up and we can make everybody safe and we can give access to everybody by thinking wider around how do you set out the walkways, how do you set out your stores, how do you set out the travel terminuses to make sure that everyone can access them safely. What's really, really important is that, you know, where it is important to, to, to keep your distance or to follow certain routes that they're really well indicated. Transport for London says it offers help from station staff, travel support cards, and please offer me a seat badges. For the blind and the visually impaired people, I think more does need to be done. It's important to have the audio there. I think it's important to have well-lit signs. Not all visual impairments use a cane all the time or use a blind dog. I think that awareness is very, very important. Just be patient, be aware. Um, and, 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 and just be kind, basically. Jem O'Reilly, BBC London.